Round two, game two, we're gonna play first. Yeah, this is fine. I get Dark Thicket Wolf into villages, provided I draw a land in there somewhere. Should be a good start. If I don't get to my third land, it'll be very awkward. Having a Dark Thicket Wolf that I can't even pump. But Dark Thicket Wolf into villages, into travel preparations, should be good. Alright, here we go. My opponent kept his seven, I guess. Just check. Yep. Tanked and kept his seven. Okay. Reckless Wave? Hmm. Kinda awkward here. I would really like to see a land off the top. Preferably a mountain. Oh, okay. Well, I called it. So let's attack first and then go with villages. And then next turn I'll either have Reckless Wave plus travel preparations or something else. But yeah, we've got a good aggressive start, which is what we want. Spider Grasp should be a good trick too. Three, we've got a Crossway Vampires. Okay. Uh, um, so I can make a trade here and Woodland Sleuth back, whatever whatever goes to the bin, or I could travel preparations, I could just attack with Dark Thicket Wolf, and I think I like attacking with both here, it's almost, well it's going to trade with villagers, uh, which I'll get back for value, I do like value. Okay, up to four now. And I'm looking pretty far ahead. Let's see if we can keep ahead. Four. Oh, Devil's Play. Oh, not happy to see that. Um, but that's okay. Um, we can go with Reckless Waif and Villages. Devil's Play, jeez, it's a nice one. Uh, he'll be able to flashback Devil's Play to kill Reckless Wave, I guess. But that's fine, I think. Hollowhenge might be good this game. Uh, I've actually got double green this time. So I'm still getting the beats on, I've still got board presence. Still got a few things up my sleeve. Foily Devil's Play no less. Must be nice. So oh, Harvest Pyre, okay. That'll do it. Um Sharp and Pitchfork. Mm, yeah, Sharp and Pitchfork plus travel preparations. Might be the play. Alright, so now my guys are pretty scary. Sharp and Pitchfork on Woodland Sleuth makes him a 4-5 first striker. And if Vigilant Villagers transforms, he becomes a 5-7. A That's pretty nice. My opponent's at 8. Yeah, I think we got this one, maybe. Desperate Ravens, sure. Discarding into the Moor. Happy to see that one go to the bin. What do we got at five? Is it a scourge? No, pitchburn devils. Yeah, pitchburn devils is fine. So I can attack, Pitchburn Devils will kill one of them, and then I can Hollow Hinge. Uh, or I could just keep keep it alive, whatever. Gets, uh, I think, no, Hollow Hinge is fine. 
Uh, so villagers will die, and then I get a hollow hinge to replace it. That should be more than enough. Yep, he's down. Now I'll have my hollow hinge. I don't have to worry about not playing a spell for a turn. I can just have my big guy now. He's not quite 5 7, but 4 5 is still pretty beefy. And the 5 lives isn't irrelevant. So my opponent's got stacks of removal, but I got stacks of good creatures, so that's fine. Down to five. If he plays one creature, then I've got him. Yep, scourge. All right. So this one is over. Attack with both. I don't even need to bother equipping here. Scourge blocks hollow hinge. Now spidery grass, the woodland sleuth. Alright, pressure, pressure, pressure. Alright, so one to go. Um, maybe I don't even need sharpen pitchfork here. Though it is good with ambush viper. Um, because most of his most of his threats are big guys. Um, so maybe I want to crossway vampires instead. Could be good. The mana cost is prohibitive, but I think it's going to be better anyways than these others. Yeah, no, yep, I'm happy with this. 